We're all accountable for our actions. Some of us have been used, abused, threatened, mocked, tormented, treated as outcasts, as well as manipulated and bullied to the point where we don't even know who we are anymore. After what humanity has been put through over the last few years, it can hardly be surprising that there's been an overwhelming surge in poor mental health worldwide. However, everyone heals. Sometimes it's a slow process, depending on our individual circumstances, and sometimes it's fast. Once the healing starts, the process speeds up. We start to feel confident as we heal. Our self-respect returns, and we remember who we really are as we start to love ourselves. We realize that we were victims, and we start to remove the things that no longer serve us. We also realize that we are not victims anymore. In some cases, this can be people we let go of. Perhaps friends, or what we thought were friends. Partners, family members, groups, and sometimes jobs. We remove ourselves from them because we realize they haven't acted with our best interests. We all make mistakes, especially when we have addictions and mental health issues to deal with. But when we heal, we discover ourselves and we discover that we don't need or want certain people, places and things in our lives. They bring up bad memories for us. Strong negative emotions arise in us and we're reminded of what an unfair world it can be. However, we also remember the places and people from the past who have been there for us, will continue to be there for us and will always be there for us. Some of us may not have family left, but we do have partners and friends who are our soul tribe and we'll always love them, even if they are in different countries and places. The healing journey is a personal one. Not everything can be shared. When we're healing, we give thanks to the universe, to God, to Jesus, or whatever word you choose, for lightening our load. We prayed for forgiveness for our mistakes, and we received it. We prayed for help to feel better, and we received it. We prayed for clarity and light, and we received it. We prayed for help on a physical level, and we know we'll receive it. We took a leap of faith, and we know he won't let us down. Unlike people, he will never let us down. He's shown us time and time again. We give thanks and show gratitude for all the help we've received. We started on a healing journey and we'll continue on it. Pain doesn't always come from inside us, from our own minds and actions. It can be caused by other people's behavior and actions too. So what do we do with the people that have caused us so much pain? It's not for us to decide. What man or woman can decide the fate of another? We don't have the right to decide. If someone sets out to cause pain deliberately, then of course there's a punishment to be received. We forgive them, but we don't forget what they did. That's the lesson. We could wish them to, uh, hell, if we choose to do so. But be careful of those boomerangs. They do come back. Jesus taught us to love our enemy. He never said it was easy to do, and my goodness, it's not. But what's the alternative? Do we keep hating people, picking sides and fighting? That's been tried since time began, and it hasn't worked so far, has it? If we change our way of thinking, our levels of consciousness, then we can have peace internally and externally. We're all sovereign beings and we're responsible for ourselves. If we keep allowing various groups of people to speak up for us, to make decisions for us, then we're going to give our individual power away. And look what happens when we do that. If we trust in goodness, and trust in him, then we are trusting in love, and love always wins. 
We just have to take a leap of faith.